Hey everyone, welcome to the Monument app. So the first thing I'd like to show you here inside the photo gallery is how to back up your photos. And there's two ways to do that. One is to manually pick and choose only that content that you want to back up. And the other way is to turn on auto upload where the app will scan this device for any new content and back it up automatically without me having to do anything. And so you can see here in the gallery, all of my content is organized by the date that the photos were taken. I can also pinch out to view a much more condensed view. Another neat feature of Monument is that up to five people can connect and back up their photos and videos. So if I go to the drop down here from the top, I can select and filter users whose photos I'd like to view. So pretty straightforward, very easy to use. Um, moving on, I wanna talk about albums because this is by far my most favorite feature. Not only do you get to organize all of your content based on trips, vacations, different photography styles, but you can also share this with other users that are connected to Monument and they can add their content to the same photo album in real time. Next, we have Browse, which is broken down into different categories. So Recents here will show you your most recently uploaded photos. People is where Monument uses facial recognition to automatically scan your photos and group them together according to who's in them. And then we have World Map, where Monument looks at the location information of all of your photos and places it on this scrollable map. I can also switch back and forth between a list view and this map view. And then we have a feature that's pretty unique to Monument, which is Time Machine. What we're doing here is we're taking you back in time and showing you photos from today's date, except in previous years. So for example, today is actually December 20th, and it found the closest photos to that date from last year. And then we have videos where Monument just groups together all of your video content. We have cameras where Monument organizes all of your content by camera type. And lastly, we have favorites where you can view all of your favorited photos. Another great feature is our search function. And I just wanna quickly highlight this. So you can search by a person's name, a location, an album name, or date. And for example, our office is located here in Chicago. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly type in Chicago. And you can see that it found 21 photos with that location and I found eight photos that I manually tagged with the keyword Chicago. So if you're not sure where a particular photo is, the search function is a great way to look up any content. And lastly, we have settings. So in settings, there's a couple of things I would really like to highlight. One is SD cards. Anytime you connect an SD card, you have the option to save it here to Monuments Memory. So the first time I connect it, it'll ask me what I would like to do. And then if I save it, any other time I connect that SD card, it will automatically be backed up to Monument. And then we have free up space on my phone, which is an amazing feature that will let you remove content that has already been backed up. So this is great if you're, for if you're running low on storage or if you just wanna declutter your phone. Um, and then lastly, we have remote access. And if I turn that on, it will allow me to connect to my monument from anywhere in the world, as long as I'm connected to a Wi-Fi or cellular network. And that's pretty much the Monument app in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please do reach out to us. You can email us at support at getmonument.com. You can find us on social media. Our handle is at getmonument, or you can go to our website, getmonument.com, open up the live chat box and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have. I hope you guys enjoy this. Hopefully you learned a thing or two and I look forward to connecting with you all. Take care.